walk away? Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop it! Talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. It was a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards... ...or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get... Nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share. Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Well, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. In there. And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there. No, Betty, don't. Really? Still nothing. Well. Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I have no further use for you. Ah! Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you, Betty? Yeah, I'm told that hurts. into a hospital? How am 
shouldn't have I been out? anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Oh my god. Betty. Augustine was in bluffing, huh? Well, no one here was going to turn you in to protect themselves. We're Comish. We take care of our own. I guess I did the right thing. Can you imagine what that bitch would have done to me if I'd actually talked? Probably the same thing she did to everyone else in this room when you didn't. Do me a favor and um, tell everybody else that uh, I said uh, thanks for taking one for the team. Concrete the legs? It's gonna take more than that. Oh, glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. Dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that. They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. It's like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power, I get it. means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it. You'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech conduit power buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna... You know, hit back. What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? 
Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dell, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... bull Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Delson. Delson, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. Yeah, she stays free. No. Dude, no way! Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction, doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! When it comes to conduits, it's my call. Not yours, not ours, mine. Oh, really? So Mr. Freewheeling Badass finally wants to take on some responsibility. And for what, huh? A bioterrorist with a body count? I love you, Reds. Don't make me break that handsome nose of yours. Bye. If she kills someone's father tomorrow, or mother the day after that, you're the one that allowed that to happen. Who 
calm down. Here. Let's talk. Looks like the haters are getting ready for their big parade. You in? Oh, I'm in. I'm a total hater. <laughs> hey, Delson. Fire up that camera. I got something for the viewers at home. All right. Please. Please don't hurt me. Hello, America. My name is Abigail Walker, but my friends and enemies call me Fetch. Two things you should know about me. One, I'm a Pisces. Two, I've never hurt an innocent person in my life. <laughs> and that's still true. You may think I'm a monster, but it's not my fault. People who preach hatred of conduits leave us no choice. So who's really to blame here? Maybe you. Whoa. <laughs> Nice touch at the end. It just came to me. Huh? What about the part where I put a hole through the hater? Ooh, golden age of television. Oh, man. I got all this energy now. I gotta burn it off. I mean, there's plenty of activists you out there. You wanna hook up? Activists can wait. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, know, you, you wanna go someplace where you know, our bodies don't get riddled by ballista and foreplay? Oh. Our place for the week. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow talk. But we should overdo it. We should overdo everything. It's just a matter of time before those goons take us out. So we gotta carpe the diem, take the bull by the scrote, go for the gold and forge it into matching nipple rings. I'm telling you, we gotta live fast, die young, and take as many dupes with us as we can. No, ma'am. I am coming out of this alive. So are you. Don't bet on him, Miss Sunshine. At school, I always tried to blend in, to fade into the background, to disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. At first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear. Where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, I knew what she was gonna do to them. I, I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Delson! Delson? Okay, that's starting to get old. It sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. Could have done without you. 
Oh wait, I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. One point thinks you got a kidnapper off the streets. Whoa, whoa, bro, not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the streets yeah. against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look. Fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, it's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you start calling you Augustine. <laughs> no, maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, be right outside, okay? Ellen. Thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I you already, already did. did. I know, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, Eugene, my brother, what do you say? You and me, a couple conduits, we hit the town. You teach me some of those video tricks. I teach you how to pick up girls. And we take our power to the people. Well, I'd like to find the Russians that were picking on the suspected conduits and, and kicking the shit out of them for a change. Dude, I want to party with you. It's a date then, yeah? All right. We will rise up, and we will teach them to accept us, even if it kills them. It's funny how a little indiscriminate slaughter can make the whole world seem brighter, huh? Hey, I made the world a better place. Figure I deserve a victory lap. <laughs> so... Where are your friends? <laughs> nice exit. <laughs> you son of a bitch. She killed Reggie. Uh, I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you. She promised she's just gonna talk. What, and you believed her? <laughs> She got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you. She had my daughter. So, any trouble finding the place? I know all about what you did. Using Hank to set up the crash. Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters to scare the shit out of the city. All so you could swoop in and be the hero. I did what I had to, to protect conduits. Protect? You hunt them down. You lock them up. And you train them to kill. I needed Abigail and Eugene to be monsters, because without monsters, the monster hunters go out of business. So that's what this is all about, huh? Job security? And you almost derailed the whole operation. Luckily, 
You turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. You hear them out there? They want your head. And once the world sees the head of the DUP, saving them from the biggest bioterrorist threat of the last seven years, your death will buy my DUP at least 20 more years of funding. I'm so glad we met when we did. But don't be. Oh. oh, no. Are you gonna kill me now? You're goddamn right I am. Hold that hurts. Augustine had come to Seattle with a plan to spread fear, panic, chaos, make herself out to be a hero. Her plan was soon shattered by monsters she had made. Fetch, Eugene, and me. For two weeks, Augustine had controlled Seattle. Now it was our turn. Who the hell was going to stop us? Oh, and the hundreds of conduits Augustine had locked away at Curtin K Station? I'm going to shake each and every one of their hands on their way out the door. So many different powers, all in one place. <laughs> I'll be the kid in the candy store. But first, I had a promise to take care of. Hey, Akomish Nation! Local heroes back home. There's my girl. Whoa, 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 slow down. What? Come back to save the day. The TV news showed everything. It showed everything. Okay, look, about I saw you kill dozens of innocent people. What did you want me to do? Okay, I wasn't gonna let anybody or anything stop me from getting back to you. To, to, to save everybody. We're Akomish. We take care of our own, right? Hey, hey, take yeah. it easy. You have disgraced our people. You have disgraced our ancestors. And you have disgraced the memory of your brother. You are a Comish no longer. You, everybody else, will die without me. Or have you forgotten that? We haven't forgotten. And we will never forget. But... 